you pick your favorite contentious subject in our world today. Maybe it's the environment or what we do with uh, DNA reengineering or how we handle the Middle East or, or you name it. The only possible place, in my judgment, that we can have a meaningful conversation about what to do in those situations is at the level of those starting axioms. Because when we get to, or even you know, discussions about the economy and whether or not we should have universal health insurance or something like that, those you know, universal health care is a construct that is being built up from several layers of starting axioms. So what happens is you have people hold some starting axioms, they built up their belief system. Other people have maybe different starting axioms, they build up a belief system. And then you try to have a conversation up here and it just doesn't work. You're either going to talk past each other or you're going to talk, you know, you're going to beat, beat heads with each other. So the only place I think that you can have a meaningful conversation about those differences is at that starting axiom level. It's not going to guarantee you a, an easy resolution by any means. But that's the place to, to have the conversation and, and perhaps looking at those starting axioms for logical consistency and empirical adequacy and so forth. The second point that I hope you would take from these remarks is that I think we've also framed a lot of our national and international discourse about issues in a way that's really not helpful and that is to, ha to frame it in terms of, well, there's a religious viewpoint on this and there's perhaps a non-religious viewpoint on the same subject. Uh, I think that's a, a really inaccurate framing of the situation and one that's not likely to lead to a good solution because I hope I've convinced you all today that there's not such a thing as a non-religious viewpoint on, it, on any matter.